Farfalina and Marcel by Holly Keller. The rain fell all morning. It splattered on the pond and splashed on Farfalina's leaf. She found the dry spot and ate it. Hey, said a little voice, you're eating my umbrella. Farfalina peered over the edge. A small gray bird was huddled underneath. Farfalina liked his soft feathers and his gentle eyes. I'm Farfalina, she said, and she slid down to the ground. My name is Marcel, said the bird. He liked Farfalina's smile and her pretty colors. The rain turned to drizzle and Farfalina wanted to play. I'll hide and you find me, she said. Marcel agreed. Farfalina hid under a fern close to the ground because she knew that Marcel couldn't climb. Now I'll hide, said Marcel when he found her, and he hid right behind the tree because he knew that Farfalina moved slowly. I can take you for a ride on the pond, said Marcel. Farfalina inched her way up to Marcel's back. You tickle, said Marcel and he slipped into the water. Farfalina giggled. There's so much to see, she said. Farfalina and Marcel played together every day. They liked the same games and they liked each other. But one day Farfalina was not herself. I'm not sick, she told Marcel, just a little uncomfortable. I need to climb up onto a branch and rest for a while. I'll wait for you, Marcel called as Farfalina made her way up the tree. Marcel watched until Farfalina was completely out of sight. Then he settled himself in the grass and waited. Night came and then morning, but Farfalina didn't come down. Marcel called to her, but she didn't answer. He was very worried and terribly lonely. Weeks went by. The afternoons grew longer and warmer and Marcel went to the pond. He was growing and when he looked at his reflection in the water, he hardly recognized himself. He went back to the tree every day to look for Farfalina, but she was never there. And after a while, he gave up. At the top of the tree, Farfalina was snuggled in a blanket of glossy silk. She was growing too. The sky was blue and clear the morning she was ready to come out and open her beautiful new wings. She had no idea how long she had been up in that tree and she floated down to find Marcel. I'll just wait, said Farfalina when she didn't see him and she sat on a flower. Night came and then morning, but Marcel wasn't there. Farfalina was tired and confused. She fluttered around a bit and went to the pond. The pond was glassy smooth, except for the ripples made by a large, handsome goose who was swimming in solitary circles. Farfalina shivered with disappointment. She went to the pond every day to look for the small gray bird named Marcel, but he never came. One morning, the goose stopped his silent round and spoke to her. You must like it here, he said. Farfalina fluttered a bit. I've been waiting for a friend, she said sadly, but I don't think he'll come. Marcel liked her smile and her brilliant colors. I know how you feel, he said. I lost a friend too. She just vanished into thin air. Farfalina liked his sleek feathers and his gentle eyes. A ride around the pond might cheer you up, Marcel said. Farfalina thought it would, and she settled herself on Marcel's back. 
It's funny, Marcel said, but I feel as though I've known you a long time. I was just thinking the same thing, said Farfalina. My name is Farfalina. What's yours? Marcel stopped suddenly. He beat the water with his strong wings. Then he swam round and round and round. It's me, Farfalina, he shouted. It's me, Marcel! Is that really you? It is, Farfalina shouted back. They looked at each other and laughed. By evening, they had explained everything and they fell asleep, smiling at the stars. Farfalina and Marcel spent the rest of the summer playing just as they had before. Marcel was careful not to fly too fast because he knew that Farfalina couldn't keep up. Farfalina didn't hide in the flowers because she knew that Marcel would never find her. And when the leaves on the trees around the pond turned red and gold, they decided to go south. Together. The end.